All right, so one of the five S's is sucking. What happens if I'm using the SNOO, but my baby won't take a pacifier? So there's an interesting thing about pacifiers. It is one of the five S's, and um, some babies are like suck babies. I mean, they just, they need the swaddling, they like the white noise, but the sucking is really what settles them down. And so pacifiers can be really super helpful. And there are different sizes and shapes of pacifiers, so sometimes you have to try different ones to find the one that your baby likes a lot. But th there's a technique I call reverse psychology, which is when the baby is sucking on the pacifier, you pretend to pull it out or knock it out. Most people, when they want to teach their baby to keep the pacifier in, are kind of holding it in place. But actually, it works better to pretend you're taking it out. Because a baby's response when they're losing it is to suck harder. Um, a lot of times you notice that when you're breastfeeding, the baby starts to fall asleep, you go to take the breast out, and suddenly the baby decides, that's mine, where are you going with that? And they don't want to give it up. And so what I find is that if you do that 30, 40 times a day as you're, as you're pretending to remove it, Within a week or two, you've trained the, I, I've seen babies who can cry and keep it in their mouths at the same time. I mean, that's how good they get at it. Um, and so it's super, it's super good tool to kind of, um, or way to teach them how to use the pacifier.